Voy soñando, te despierto y en las noches solo en ti yo pienso. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad that you guys are here. If you can't tell already, we are doing a story time slash makeup tutorial on the Maxalina line. This line was actually released about a year ago. Um, they did have their launch party in Corpus Christi, I believe on September 30th. Um, and I was lucky enough to be able to be a part of that. Um, and if you didn't watch my Get to Know Me video, um, Selena is one of my favorite movies. Um, and I love everything that has to do with Selena. So when I knew that they were coming out with a MAC line, I had to get it. Um, I have a very special place in my heart that I hold everything that has to do with Selena in. Um, as some of you guys know, okay, this is just story time now. So as some of you guys know, um, my mom passed away when I was in fifth grade. And I was actually born in Corpus Christi, Texas. And I always had that connection with Selena, you know. Um, I was born in Texas, but I was raised in Arizona. So. Um, being from Corpus, I always like related to Selena, like, oh my gosh, she's in Corpus, or she lives in Corpus, I was born there, like, I'm totally gonna be like Selena when I grow up. And my mom would actually take us on vacations, um, to Corpus Christi, and we visited the Selena Museum a few times. And when I was a little girl, I remember visiting there, and I got to meet Selena's sister, Suzette, and it was just like this amazing experience. I remember my mom was like freaking out because she was a huge Selena fan. So we, I was raised pretty much, you know, listening to Selena, watching the movie, you know, going to her museum, seeing all of her clothes and you know, everything. So I've just always been like a super fan of Selena and anything that, everything that has to do with her. So fast forward, you know, um, I don't even know how many years later, 13 years later, my, my mom actually passed away when I was in fifth grade. And um, any time I heard Selena, I always thought, you know, of my mom, or and I always thought about the memories of her taking us to Corpus. So it, it's just always been, oh my goodness. Am I gonna cry? No, don't cry. So um, anytime I heard Selena, it was just always very special to me and I had those memories with my mom. Um, so, fast forward, like I said, 13, 13 14 years later, um, back in Arizona, there was a concert, a Cumbia All Stars concert, um, which was an extension of like the Cumbia Kings with um, Selena's brother, Abe. And so, I bought tickets to this concert, um, and I went, and I, it's just, if I wouldn't have been such a fan of Selena, I would have never went to this concert. And just so happens that that is where I saw my now husband um, for the first time. He was actually um, playing the guitar in AB's band, the Kumi All Stars, and at the concert, I was in the front row, and I had taken a bunch of pictures of him and he had given me his gu guitar pick and I was being a groupie or whatever. You guys can judge me, I don't care. So yeah, um, I ended up posting a picture of him on Instagram and we started talking back and forth and you know, one thing led to another. We got, we exchanged phone numbers and we just started talking and we had like this really strong connection. Um, and you know, I, I told him like what a big fan of Selena I was. I didn't want to come off creepy or anything, but I did tell him like how you know my mom had passed away and how I always had this connection to Selena. And if it hadn't been you know for me being such a big fan of her, I would have never went to the concert. We would have never met. Yada yada yada. So we ended up visiting you know back and forth. He came to visit me in Arizona um, while he was here in Houston, and. Um, during that time period, he was still in Selena's brother's band, the Kumbia All Stars, and for me, it was just like amazing. I thought it was so cool, you know, dating this rock star. Um, but uh, you know, a little after that, he ended up um, he left the group, and uh, he actually got signed with Selena's dad's label at Q Productions in Corpus Christi. Um, so during the time that I decided to move to Houston. 
Um, he was with um, Mr. Q's label in Corpus Christi, and to me that was just so amazing. Um, there was a time that we actually actually visited the museum together, um, and it had been. I'm pretty sure it was 13 years after I had met Suzette with my mom and this was the first time I had been back at the museum since then and I remember like walking in and it was just such a different experience because they knew my husband you know like hey Angel uh, what's going on how you been you know he was like this is my girlfriend I got to meet Mr. Q um, I met Suzette too that day and everybody just, you know, was so nice and, you know, so welcoming. And it was just crazy to me to know that I was standing there, you know, in the same spot that I stood there with um, my mom. And now, you know, she would have been freaking out, um, so excited. And she was such a big fan of Selena. And now I was dating somebody who was with Mr. Q's label. You know, he was recording in the same studio that Selena was recording in. And it was just, it was just very... I don't even know how to explain it, but it was just very amazing. I just, I can't even explain it. I'm just going to use the word amazing. Um, so yeah, uh, that happened and he was with, um, Abraham's, uh, label for, I want to say like a year and a half. Um, so during the time that the Selena Matt collection was actually released, um, last year, he was still, um, with Mr. Q's label. And just the whole experience was was awesome. They had performers there. They had DJs there. Um, it was just, it was incredible. And I'm going to forever hold that experience very, 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 very close to my heart. Um, so yeah, that was just like a backstory of my love for Selena and a little bit about myself too and how I met my husband and you know why I am so grateful and why I'm such a fan of Selena and yeah why I love her so much so yeah um, I thought this would be really fun to film for you guys I have all of the products except one um, eyeshadow I did not get but I do have like the lip gloss and I have you know the brushes I have a million lipsticks that I'm probably never even going to run out of so yeah I I got the whole collection except the one eyeshadow um, but yeah I'm going to do a look for you guys um, which is the look I'm wearing right now my Selena inspired look with my earrings and my little hairdo like her so yeah um, if you guys want to see how I created this then just keep on watching alright guys so we're gonna start off by priming our face um, I'm just going to use my favorite Smashbox Photo Finish Primer and start in the T-zone and spread it all around the face. Don't mind these little guys here. He just happened to, to drop by this morning. Uninvited, of course. Alright, and so at the moment, my favorite foundation is this. So I'm going to put this on. Um, and we are going to apply that with a kabuki brush. My favorite. It's a Y6 by Morphe. My favorite brush. I love this foundation. It's so amazing. If you haven't tried this yet, y'all better go get your hands on some. Because it's amazing. Okay, that's gonna just have to be as good as that gets covered up because he's fresh. He just arrived. And for concealer, we are going to use the Morphe concealer. This is in the shade Macchiato. That makes me want coffee by saying that. Just makes me want to drink some coffee. And then we're going to blend it out, of course, with this little guy. These Morphe concealers are so creamy and like the way they blend out, it's like insane. And they're like so inexpensive too. Like, I think they're like $5. That's crazy. Like, look at that. It's so creamy, it just like blends out. Love it. 
I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. And so of course we are going to set it with the RCMA powder. All right, so now for bronzer and blush, we are going to use the Techno Cumbia. It's so cute. And then inside, so it's like a, a bronzer and then like a little blush. So we're going to use that. And it did come with a brush. This is the brush that it came with. I've never actually, I've never used the brush. Never used the brush, it's been a year. But yeah, I have two of them actually. Woo! I bought one for my daughter so that when she's old enough to never like mess up stuff, I'm going to give her one. That's the plan. But we'll we'll see how that goes. She'll probably get it before she's old enough and just play with it. But yeah, so this is the brush. We're gonna use this to try to apply the bronzer. Um, so yeah, here we go. So that was the bronzer, it's really beautiful. And now we are gonna go in and with the blush side and we're going to use this Real Technique brush. All right, so now for our eyebrows, we are going to use this e.l.f. pencil that I have. Um, Selena had really dark eyebrows and they were like round in the corner and they were kind of thin, so we're going to just kind of follow um, how my eyebrow is right now and then just darken it up a little bit. And now we are going to go in with a fiber gel, of course. All right, so now we're gonna move on to the eyes and we are going to use this shade here. It is called No Me Queda Mas. It's a matte shadow and it's like a brown, really neutral color. So we're going to use that as a like transition color. And I'm gonna go in with just a Morphe brush that I have here. Alright guys, so as you can see, I'm just kind of um, applying it here at the end and then just dragging it in right into the crease. So now for the lid, we are going to put this satin shadow on. This shade is called Fotos y Recuerdos. It's a satin shadow. I really love it. It's really pink and it's just beautiful. This is the shade Missing My Baby. Missing my baby, missing my baby. All right, so for the last color we are going to use on our eye, this is the purple color. This is the shade Selena, and it does have like a sheer um, finish to it. You can see it in the camera, it's very shiny. So we're going to put that in our lower lash line. All 
All right, so now that the eyeshadow is finished, we are going to do a tiny little baby wing on our eye using this. This is called Boot Black. This is the eyeliner, so we're going to use this eyeliner to do a small wing at the end of our eye. So now that the wing is done, we are going to apply a coat of mascara because the collection did come with mascara as well. And then we are going to um, put on some falsies um, that are very natural, of course. All right, so now we're going to apply some really natural false lashes. These are just some lashes that I got from Walmart. So we're going to apply these and then after this, we're going to apply the lipstick. All right, so now that we have our lashes on, we are going to apply our lipstick, which is the last step of the look. And I'm going to use a burgundy lip liner, and then we are going to apply... We're going to apply the shade Como La Flor. So this is the red shade, and we are going to apply that. All right, everyone, well, that was how I created this look using all of the Selena MAC products, um, except one eyeshadow, but I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I know Selena means so much to so many people, and I just wanted to share with you guys um, why she means so much to me. I appreciate every single one of you guys that watched. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, everybody.